Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Darjet, and I will be your host for this evening, and welcome to Causeway, a game that was developed by the same person who created a game that I reviewed a long time ago during the Asylum Jam called Who's There? That developer also created this game, and he had contacted me directly, wanting to know if I would review this game as well, and seeing what it was about, the the story and the uh, the choices that you would have to make in this game, I was very intrigued. There were some problems with it at first. Uh, I tried to play this before, but there was an issue where I was walking extremely slowly, and I took it took almost a full minute for me to walk just a just to that first bottle in front of you. But he fixed it. I contact I told him about the bug, and he fixed it right away, which is which. I really appreciate that. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Well, let's just get right into it. So, yeah, you press enter to start, and we're in this right away. E. You have decided to leave your home due to difficult circumstances. It was not a choice you took lightly. Okay. I'm guessing this is the start of the story. Question is, what will I discover along the way? Oh, I'm seeing something. Boxes and a bus stop. And another bottle. Somehow your whole life fitted into four measly boxes. You couldn't afford a suitcase. With only enough loose change for a one-way bus ticket, you go somewhere, anywhere. This is, a uh, Starting to hit a little closer to home than I imagined that it would. Um... When I was 18 years old, I left home as well. I, uh, I had some problems with my family that I, I couldn't deal with anymore, and, uh, I left home with only a duffel bag full of my clothes and only a couple of my belongings, and, uh, I got away from a stepfather who was especially abusive towards me, and, uh, I moved in with a friend for a, for a couple months until I joined the Navy. Um, I guess I'll make the same choice. Where I was was more of a suburban type area, so uh, it wasn't exactly city or countryside, but I guess it's uh, much closer to the city. So I'll take the same path. It's strange because I don't think I've ever spoken to anybody about that time of my life. And, uh, you know, at first I always kind of thought it was, go away, pop up. At first I was kind of thought it was just a small part of my life, but it, during that time, it was hard for me. It was actually really hard for me. You found yourself a small studio apartment in the heart of the city. You get home at nine most nights. You live out of the boxes. The job pays the bills, just. You feel like you're drowning in a sea of people. Although bleak, it's the, be it's the best your life has ever been. You're free. The Christmas party is tonight, but you're failing to meet deadlines. You feel like you haven't spoken to anyone in weeks. Hmm. So do I work overtime, or do I socialize at the party? Um, this, for me, it wasn't exactly... This wasn't exactly an issue for me at the time when I did it. When I went through this, I had the luxury of being able to stay with a friend. And he was paying for the rent, and he just let me stay, which I was very gracious that he did that for me. Uh, I got by, you know, as far as getting my own food and taking care of myself. 
Uh, I suppose if it were me. You know, things need to get done. I do believe that things need to get done and friends can come later, so I think it's time for overtime. The work needs to get done, otherwise the boss won't be happy and you might not get paid. That's, that's really much more important than anything you could get from a job. Oh, files. Suitcase. A couple letters. Overdue. While you were completing your project, Benji the Bellin blagged his way into your promotion. That bootlicker. Every day you have to wear a fake smile, but inside you feel empty. You feel trapped by your job. Every night you dream of what could have been. If you fall behind on your rent again, you'll be evicted. Well, I can't just quit. I mean, what does quitting get anyone? I mean, even if you do quit your job, there's no guarantee that you'll find another one, or, or even a better one, within the time that you need. Oftentimes it's better to just stick with it until you find something better. And it's not as though employers don't notice that you've stayed with them. You know, I've had a couple of jobs where I was often the only person who always showed up regardless of what was going on in my life. When I had to go to college, at the same time, I was taking a third shift at a little diner and I was still going to college in the mornings so that left me very little time to sleep but I kept with it. The alarm screeches in your ear. Even getting up in the morning takes serious effort. You grab the half-empty beer bottle next to your bed and force down two of those tablets your doctor gave you. They do nothing. You shuffle to the kitchen and put on the kettle. Coffee is one of the few things that keep you going these days. You go to work. I agree. Coffee is probably the only thing that keeps you going. What? What happened? Oh, that was odd. I appear to be stuck. Okay, well. Okay, we've made it all the way back here. The game had crashed for some reason, but I just turned it back on, came back to this point, and uh, just avoiding stepping where I stepped before. So, we're continuing on. Continuing on. I had completely forgotten what I was even talking about before. Something about coffee being the only thing that keeps me going as well. My I'm not even moving. Oh, oh, was this actually supposed to happen? I think what happened is that I reached one of the endpoints of the game. To where I just find myself in some sort of uh, loop, doing the same thing over and over every day. Alright, we're back at the first option. I'm curious to see what my life would have been like had I chosen to go to the countryside instead of the city. What choices, what options would I have had then? Where could I, where could I have gone? What could I have done? Because... You know, I've lived in the country for about five years, and it wasn't great. There's a lot of things I didn't like about the country. It was much too separated from everything and anything.
So green around here. You find somewhere to stay. It's small, old, and smells of damp, but it's yours. The tranquility of the countryside helps spark that sense of creativity you haven't felt in a long time. You take up your brush and start painting. After a few stumbles, you hit your stride. You're going places, an up-and-comer. A local gallery has offered to display a piece of your work, but a design firm has headhunted you. So do I go with the design firm, or do I stick with my passion and stick with painting? That's, uh, that's rather tricky. I mean, I myself am not an artistic person. I can do some kinds of art. I'm, I've done some things. I've done some painting, some drawing. But I do have more skill in using programs like GIMP and editing videos, so I'm not sure which way to go. But I suppose if being out here inspires you to pick up the brush and you are able to create something that many people like with that brush, perhaps it's best to stick with the brush. I mean, stick to what you're good at, right? Just because you're amazing in one skill doesn't exactly mean that those skills will translate to the same level of skill that you have when changing the different medium. Huh. You know, this is actually not bad. It's actually not bad at all. Maybe I'm getting some fame from doing all this. The emotion behind your work captivates a local art lover. She's young like you, still finding her feet. While it's dreaming, while it's describing your painting to pretentious men in berets, you keep catching her glance from the corner of your eye. At the end of the event, you pluck up the courage to finally go over and speak to her. She asks what your plans are for the rest of the evening. You take the hint and ask her if she wants to get something to eat. I see. There's, uh... I'm guessing something similar may have happened if I had chosen to socialize rather than work overtime in the city. Um... Let's see, something casual or something romantic? Well, I would say that uh, something casual kind of creates this idea that the relationship you're looking for is meant to be casual. Kind of gives the sign that you just want to be friends. So maybe we should take the romantic route. I mean, you're an artist, for God's sake. You know, you probably have some connections to a nice place. Yeah, this is more like it. You know, it doesn't have to be too gooey, ooey gooey romantic. You can just be a nice candlelit dinner. Glass of wine. She was expensive, but like a fine wine, worth every penny. Intoxicated by love, you ask her to move in with you. You receive more and more invitations to weddings and baby showers. She feels like she's running out of time. She keeps bringing the subject of kids up in front of friends. You manage to laugh it off until now. This time, she's serious. Well, um... I mean, if this is really what she wants, I mean... Personally... I don't think I'm one for having kids. I mean, I've tried to go that route and things didn't work out well. But, you know, not everyone needs to be a parent. But that's just me. If, if this woman that I'm with truly feels that she wants to be a mother, I'm not going to stop her. It might be hard, but you know what? Yeah. I think it's worth it. You want to do things right. 
At your next showcase, you get down on one knee and bring out the ring you saved up months for. You sent an invitation to your parents, but they never showed up. It doesn't matter. You have your own family. They are two and three now. It's the best job you could ha ever have. Yeah, kinda is, isn't it? Okay. Well, that was Causeway. It's a neat little game. I mean, there's a there's only a certain number of paths that c that can be taken, and I'm guessing there's only three tiers worth of choices that you can make. But those tiers do kind of make some drastic changes in your life, and it really does kind of go to show you that what you put into your life will result in what you get back in that life. If you go the route of romance, then you get romance back. If you put in hard work, then you may end up doing nothing but working your entire life. If you take up your passion, then your passion will be seen and noticed by those around you. And each path that you take does have some, does have some, uh, some drawbacks, some... Uh, some challenges. Sometimes it takes you along a route that you were hoping wouldn't be there. Is it? That's not what I'm trying to say. It's sometimes the path is hard, and you expect things to get easier as as you go along that path. And sometimes you discover that the path doesn't get any easier. Sometimes the path remains just as hard as it was when you began on that path. But still, if you think that something is worth it, you shouldn't ever regret making that choice. Whatever path you choose in this life, I hope it's one that you appreciate, one that you enjoy, and don't ever have any regrets that you took this path. I think I can say that I've made some bad choices in my life, but I'm also happy for what came back to me when I made those choices. And I'm happy with where, where, with where it's taken me. I'm happy with where I am now. And none of what I have now would have been possible had I made different choices in my life. And I think that's really what this game is trying to tell people. So thank you, for, developer, for getting in contact with me and telling me about this. This was amazing and it really put it really puts things in, into perspective so i enjoyed this i enjoyed it if you guys want to try this game out for yourself i will leave a link in the description below definitely definitely check this out find out where find out the choices you should make and where you those paths will take you i'm sorry i couldn't find the the end of every path but you know, I found the ends of my paths, and you got to see those. But yeah. Check the card for more short, little, interesting games like this. And if you like this video, be sure to hit the like button below. And if you hit that subscribe button, maybe the path that led you to me will lead you to great things. Thank you all for joining me for Causeway. And I will see you next time. Come on, will you stop that? Just stop it, please. Oh, no. I have a key now. What is the key for? Where does the key go? Does it go up to this door? <laughs>